life is not coming from your conscious wishes and desires. Your life is coming from your program. And why is that relevant? Because I said, think about it this way. I take three different cells, and I say, oh, Muslim cell, Jewish cell, Christian cell. I say, oh, are they different entities? I go, no, no. Those religious things are programs that are downloaded into the mind of the child. What was most important? They all come from the same source. They all represent the same spirit coming to the planet. Your source is not the program. You can take a child from one religion as an infant and have it adopted by another family from a different religion. The child grows up in that religion. The religion wasn't built into the system. It was a program. We've been programmed. And I said, what's the function of the programs? And the answer is this. The mind is, the, the, excuse me, the mind is designed to take your programs and your beliefs and turn them into reality. This simple sentence is very profound and complex when you get down to it. The function of your mind is to create coherence between what you believe and the life reality you experience. Henry Ford said it simply. He said, if you believe you can or you believe you can't, you're right. Meaning what? Whatever your belief is. If you believe you're going to be a lovable person, then you're a lovable person. If you believe you're not a lovable person, then you're not a lovable person. That was in the belief, but the mind wanted to make sure your beliefs are real. And then it turns out, why is the subconscious so important? Because we now know a simple point. The conscious mind can think. I say to you, what are you doing next Thursday? If you actually contemplate what I just said, then your mind will go in a Rolodex in your head and think, what the hell am I doing on Thursday? I say, why is that relevant? Because the moment I asked you that, you're not paying attention. I go, oh, so when your mind is thinking, you're not like walk down the street, have a thought. Okay, thought's over, I got it now. <laughs> you keep walking. I say, why? Because the moment your conscious mind's not paying attention, the default program in the subconscious takes over. And the relevance about that is scientists tell us that we are only conscious 5% of the day. 5% of the day comes from creative wishes, desires, and aspirations. 95% comes from the program. And the issue about that is we have now been <laughs> realizing the fact that 70% or so are, of our programs are disempowering, limiting, and really undermining who we are. We were told what we could do and what we couldn't do. If that's your program, then you can do what you were told, and you can't do what you're told you couldn't do. We become the program. So the relevance about this is simple. In fact, it's that we only come 5% from the creative mind, 95% from the subconscious mind. I go, why is that relevant? Ha! Creative minds, wishes, desires, aspirations. I go, yeah, but you're not creating your life from that. You're creating your life from what? Acquired programs that you got from other people. You are living other people's lives 95% of the day. And that's why you might have trouble with your wishes of being successful and happy being compromised by the behavior you're playing. Because the behavior isn't yours. It was programmed by other people. The Jesuits knew this 400 years ago. They would boast, give me a child until it's seven. It will belong to the church for the rest of its life. Think about what that means. If you give your education to somebody else for seven years, then 95% of your life comes from that program, not your program. They were talking about programming, manipulating you. And the relevance when I brought this picture up after getting to this point about programming, we were in Uplift Middle East, and the audience was gagged, you know, they were understanding, yeah, I've got this program, the program runs 95% of the time, and I said, here's the problem. Why have they been fighting for so long in the Middle East? I said, look, you program kids to play with guns. You put kids in military uniforms to play with guns and to kill the enemy. If that's the program, then 95% of their life comes from that. Even if they don't want to fight, that's not relevant. 95% of their life is going to put them into the fight. I said, what's the resolution? The solution? The answer was simple. Allow children to share their love, to share their community, because when they're outside of the program, they're humans. 
And as humans, they work together in the collective evolution of this planet. Peace comes from helping our children not acquire those negative programs.